Thank you. Okay. Yes, you're so welcome. Thank you. What we'll do on this call, and this will be, a, this will be, a, we'll get this done quick in the next, in the next, hopefully in the next few minutes. But this is very basic. That, that, but this is the most important: your custom audiences. It's all about custom audiences. That's why when you start to run Instagram ads or when you start to run Facebook ads for any business, you have to allow Facebook to start segmenting and start categorizing people who are landing on specific pages. So in your case with your landing page, what we're going to do is we're going to, let's just copy that now. So go to your, um, go to your Kartra page and just grab the link for the landing page, which is the opt-in page. And all we're going to do is click on the three dots and we're going to get code or link. All right. So pages and then landing page. Yes, the and seller guy. Get get code. Yes. Get okay. Click get code or link. Okay, I clicked on that. Yeah, and okay. what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy. We don't need the HTTPS. All we're gonna do is copy from David all the way to the right. So get your link, copy it from that first word or that first letter all the way to the right. All we need is that. We don't need the www or the HTTPS. We don't need any of that. We just need the URL. Copy okay. that. Okay. Okay, I got it. Okay, so copy that. And then now we're going to go to the ads manager, make sure we're in the right account. And then we're going to click on the dots to the left. Actually, you know what? You got your bookmark. You got your bookmark. Click on audiences. You got your bookmark, custom okay. audiences. Yes, I did bookmark custom audiences. So let me go there. Custom. Oh, no, wait. I, got, I just clicked on custom conversion. I need custom yeah. audiences, need custom you said, audience. right? Yes. Let me see if I have that. Uh, oh, here it is. Okay, I got it. Okay, perfect. So here's the deal. Let me pull this up real quick. Okay, good. Okay. So let me opt in to this one because there's going to be a few audiences that we create right now. Okay. So here's the deal. We're going to click on audiences and we're going to come to this. You, you, so you should be right here or, or did, does yours look like this? I oh, am. Okay. It Do you does. have any audiences Obviously, right there? There's nothing on the right. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, we did an audience for intro video. Yes. Perfect. 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 Okay, cool. So now we're going to do the links. We got the video. Now we're going to do the links. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to click on the blue button to the left, custom audience. And, and over here, let me explain this part as well, because this is super okay. important. This, these are the different options we have. So, so what we're going to do website right now, but the other ones are, are, are super powerful as well. So customer list, this right here is powerful for your, in your case with your other business. So as you start to sell the, the upfront product, you start to build an email list of all those customers. Then what you can do is you can upload that list, that email list up to Facebook and create a custom audience in Facebook. And now, now you can name that audience, my customers, my, my, mm -hmm. my, my product customers. And now all those people would be in a, in a custom audience, which you can then run an ad to in the future. So you can do it with, with we're going to do ours today with website, but you can also do it with an email list. That's customer list. We, we, we can do it with video, which is what we did the other day. We set up your intro yes. video. And then we can do it with Instagram. So anyone, this is going to be powerful when we start running Instagram ads. We're going to be able to create a custom audience of everyone who has ever landed on your Instagram account. Yes. So we put all those people in a very specific audience, and then we, we target them in the future with Instagram ads. Mm. very powerful very powerful same with your facebook business page same with your facebook business page and then also shopping create an audience of people who interacted with your products and a shopping experience on facebook or instagram so that's mm. why you set up a, a, a shopping section on your facebook business page which we'll get into later but really right now what's powerful is website customer list video instagram account and facebook page okay Okay, so so those are going to be your f powerful uh, uh, custom audiences that you can create in the future. But right now we'll do website. So let's click on website, and then that's going to bring you to this this right here. Okay, okay so now, let me click website, and yes, I'm there. Okay, perfect. Uh, so we're going to make sure that this dot is green. That's going to be that's, thank that's, you. Because I was just about to ask you that. My dot is red. Okay, so hit the drop down, 
and let's let's make sure that you see your account right there. Do you see any drop down? I do. I do. Uh, is that the one that's going to say Michelle Real Estate though, or should it say yeah. Michelle e. Higuaro? No, it should say the real estate one. And again, in it the top. Doesn't. Okay, in the top right, in the top right behind uh -huh. this square, make sure you're in the right account. You see my account at the top four four zero nine six. Yeah, Make let sure. me go. Let me let me. You may not be in the right account. See. Okay, you're right. Yeah. Okay, so let me go in the right account. And yeah, then now, you, how do I get back to the page you were at? Just click create the blue button again to the left. As you navigate uh -huh. through the dashboard, Facebook will have you in different accounts. So you always want to check that drop down. Always check that drop down. Make sure you're in the right account. Okay, I'm now in the right account and the dot is green. Perfect. We're good. Okay, so. <laughs> Now, let's click on the drop down right here, all website visitors, and we're going to go to people who visited specific web pages. And then we're going to change the, the 30 to 180. 180 is the max. So Facebook's going to allow, Facebook's going to, going to have the ability to track people who have landed on this specific page within the past 180 days. So what we're going to do now is we copied the link to our landing page and we're gonna paste it in right there. Okay, let's see. Contains on eight of the URL, at least one of these values, right? I'm clicking it on that. Contains? The one that- And then just okay. paste it in. Yeah, just paste it in okay. right there. Okay, got it. Okay, now here's the next step. Here's the next step. This is this is, this is is what you wanna, again, everything is, is very specific. We wanna be very, very specific. What we're doing here is we're creating an audience of people who land on the landing page. Now, when you really think about it, there's two types of people who are ever going to land on the landing page. One per and they're very different types of people. One person, one type of lead is going to land here, press the green button or the yellow button, opt in, and then land on the thank you page. That's yeah. one type of person. The second type of person is going to land here <laughs> and leave, yes. right? They're going to they're going to land here and take off. The second mm. type of person, both people landed here, but both people had two different outcomes, right? So we want to be very specific. So now what we want to do is we want to come back to Kartra, grab the link for the thank you page. We want to grab that link for the thank you page and copy again, only the URL, copy that. And we're going to bring that over to the ads manager. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click on exclude people. So what we're creating here is we're creating an audience of people who only landed on the landing page. And right here, same thing, specific web pages, turn this to 180. And we're going to paste in the thank you page URL. So what? very specific. Wow. And what we're going to do is we're going to name this audience landing, landing, or let's, let's get, let's get specific. Seller guide, seller guide, seller guide, seller guide, um, landing page, landing page visitors am i putting the same url there that i put up on top no these are two different ones one's the landing page one's the thank you page okay so i need to grab the link from the thank you page right yeah yeah that's what i said go back to kartra grab the okay. thank you page grab the link get coder link get okay, that link. Let me, so let me get out of here landing thank you page get coder link I don't know how I missed that step, but okay. yeah, grab that one. Yeah. And then you're going to, you're going to come over here. We're going to click on exclude people. And we're going to hit the same as the top. So same drop down people who visited specific web pages. And we're going to also go with 180 and we're going to paste in the link to the thank you page. Okay, I got all that except the link, but now, okay. now it's in there. Okay. Awesome. All right, and you said so, naming your audience. Seller guide page visitors only. They never hit the thank you page, meaning they never opted in. Seller guide 
visitors only. Okay. Okay. And then we create audience. And then we click on done. And you'll see that audience right there in the list now. It is. It is. Okay. So okay, cool. this audience is very, 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 very important. Just as important as your video viewers, right? That audience that you're going to be creating of people who watch your videos. These are two, two audiences that you'll always want to retarget in your ads. Because okay, so I have a question. Yeah. So where did my intro video audience go? Why is it shouldn't it be sitting on this same page? Yeah, you may have put it in your in a different account. You might have. Do been, you think? Um, yeah, you got to always hit that drop down in the top right. Make sure you're in the right account. Okay, let me see. Click on yeah, it and, you're right. It's yeah, in a, probably, it's in a different account. Yeah, yeah, you got to always. I don't know why Facebook does that, man. They always put you in a different account as you <sighs> navigate through the system. It's I hate it. So that's why. How I, do I undo? How do I put it in this account? Are we, just, do we um, have to redo just it? Go, yeah, just go to that, to that account and just just uh, um, just delete it. So just go to the other account, check the box, and then hit delete. And then just, um, we'll just do it again right now in the, in the right account. Okay, delete, delete audience. Okay, okay. So now I am in the right account. Okay. So now let's click on the blue button and we'll click on custom audience and we'll do video. And then we're going to just okay. click on, check the box and we're going to go down with, I always say go with at least, go, go with, go with at least 25%, 25%. Um, and then we're going to choose the video. And then make sure you hit the drop down right now, right here. If you if you don't see your page, hit the drop down and find your page. Um, and then I'll just check the box to the left of the video, and I'll click confirm. So I need to name I need to name the audience, right? And yes, is it is name it, the audience. And then did you say 180 days again? No, on the actually in the video you can leave it 365. Leave it 365. Okay. But the name the name would be 25% of intro video or 25% of tip number one seller guide video, like whatever, like just okay, start naming it. 25% of Why is it not giving me, why is the blue button phased out? Choose a content type. I, I choose the con, I chose a content type. Oh, I got to choose the video. Yeah, choose the video. Uh, okay, let me go to the right page because it's showing me other stuff. Um, that one. Okay, and then this is the video. Confirm. Okay, now I can create the audience. Perfect. Okay. So click on that and there goes your, there, and then just click on next and then click on done. And then there, there would be your video right there. So... Here's what we want to okay, do. Okay, perfect. So Thank we you. Got, we got the video. We got the um. We got the seller guide, paid landing page visitors yes. only. Now, yes. here's what we want to do. We want to go to the thank you page. Let's go to the thank you page. Let's get that link again. Let's copy that link if we don't have it copied already. Let's copy the URL, not the HTTPS, just the URL. Copy that for the thank you page. Now we're going to come back to the custom audience, click on the blue button. All right, let me make sure, let me show, let me make sure I got the right page. All right, so thank you page, you said get code or link, right? Yes. And then I'm copying just after the slash, right? Yes. Okay, uh, copy. Okay, um, and then I'm going where? And then you're going to come back to the, to the, um, to the actual ads manager yeah to the custom audience and click on you should see your two audiences right there i do okay perfect so then now let's um click on the blue button click on custom audience and we're going to go website again okay okay now we're going to hit the drop down again all website visitors we're going to specific you're going to always do specific because this is a specific URL. It's very, you know, it's, it's not a general page. It's a specific page. It's a thank you page. So always, always go with specific, go with 180 and then paste in that link. Okay, done. Okay. Now we don't need to exclude anybody. These are people who have landed on the thank you page. These are leads. So that's exactly, exactly what the title is. Seller 
seller guide leads. Seller okay. guide leads. And then create audience. Hit done. And that's seller guide leads. Now here's the deal now. So here's what we're here's what here's what's cooking now. Here's what we got going on now. You should see three audiences right there, right? I am, yeah. It's uh it's still on it's just saying it might take a few minutes to finish matching up your customer. Yeah, that's so fine. It's, just hit done. It's letting me it's letting me hit done, but it's not yeah. disappearing. So I just gotta wait for but I do see three behind it. Okay. So hit scroll down, hit next or hit done. Like let you should be able to get out of that. Should I uh scroll should down. I refresh the page? Yeah, or or scroll down if you don't if you're missing something or is there any next button or done? Yeah, no. So there's a done button, but it's not doing any. Look, it's 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 showing like it's browsing, like it's loading. Okay. So I'm just waiting for that screen to to disappear. Okay. Which is weird, right? Because you would think you'd but you can get out of it. Yeah. I think I should. I think I if I refresh the page, I might be okay. Okay, try doing that. Awesome. Perfect. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. And, 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 and in many cases, it don't, it, in many businesses, it, it's all the same shit. Like it's all the same. It's really, it's really people who are landing on an initial page and then, and then also people who have landed on the final destination. So this could be your other business, for example. I'm over here on your other on your business and I'm looking at different products. I'm looking at sizes, different colors, different types of garment. I'm on I'm on different pages looking at the product. And then I go to the product and I actually purchase. I put in my credit card number and I purchase. And then as I go to the next page that says, "Thank you for purchasing. Your order has been shipped." Mm -hmm. that, that that page That's an audience. That that page is also the thank you page. That aud that page mm -hmm. is also the final page. So it's it's the same thing. Over here with real estate got at it. the landing page, we got the thank you page. On your other business, we got the shopping page. We got the thank you for purchasing page. Mm -hmm. Same shit. Same mm -hmm. shit. So I can. So all I got to do is grab the URL for the thank you for purchasing. Go create an audience of that and name it customers. Wow. And then that list I can put in the Kartra and do the email sequence and send them that other stuff. Well, well, that's different. But yes, now I can grab that customer list if I wanted to and come over here and create a create an audience around that list of, of customers. But again, what I'm talking about is that it's 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 an audience. It's people who have yes. landed on the thank you for purchasing page. Now I come over here, I create a website, I create an audience around those and name it, name it customers. So now, mm -hmm. now I have a, a, an audience in Facebook of just people who have landed on the page. So now maybe next week I can run a specific ad for all of my customers. Hey guys, just wanted to say hello. I know you purchased a few of our products last week. We are super fired up and grateful. Thank you so much. And as a preferred customer, what we wanted to do was also run this new promotion by you and get first get you guys first dibs on products that are not even out yet. Woo! That's a very specific ad, right? That's a very yes! specific ad to a very specific audience. And I'm targeting oh them on goodness. Instagram with an Instagram ad, or I'm targeting them on Facebook with a Facebook ad because I know- You're my gold nugget of the year. We're not even <laughs> in 2020. We're not even in 2021. You are my gold, my golden hey, nugget. I'm, I'm, goose, you're I, laying these I'm golden the, eggs. I'm the closer. I'm the closer. I'm the one that comes in at the end of the game. I'm the one that comes in at the end of the game. It's December, yes. baby. I'm the one that comes in at the yes. end of the game. I'm the closer. Oh right? So, oh. so that's an audience of people who land on a specific page. We know they bought over here. Oh, I know you goodness. opted in. I know you downloaded my seller guide. You landed on this page. I know that, right? So, oh. so it applies for anything. Um, and that's why these audiences are going to be your best friend. Now, what I'm going to do, so, so back to these three basic audiences. Our videos, people who watch our videos are going to be audiences that we always retarget because they haven't landed on this page over here. So for example, for example, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go back to the thank you page. Let's go back to the okay. thank you page. Let's, go, let's grab this URL for the thank you page. 
Am I opening it? Am I opening the thank you page? Just go back. If you got to go back to Kartra, hit the three dots. Just grab the link. Grab the link for the thank you page. Okay. And what we got to do, which I, which we should have done the first time, but I don't think we did. Let's, we could do it right now. You want me to grab the whole link this time, right? No, no, no. Just, the, just always, just the URL. No HTTPS. Always. Just, just. just okay. All yeah. right. So I'm grabbing that, copying. Okay. And what do you want me to do? With okay. It? So here's what we're gonna do. Check the box for the video for the 25% or whatever you have. Check that box, and we're gonna go into the edit. Okay. I'm checking the box. Okay. It's going. Actually, this doesn't allow. Actually, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We don't need it. That's fine. We don't need it. We don't need it. Okay. So here's the deal. Okay. Scratch okay. Good. Because my computer just froze up. Okay. Okay. So all right. So we don't need it. You said. Okay. Yeah. yeah we all don't right. need that. Scratch that. I, I was overthinking. But here's here's the deal. So here's the deal. From this point on, these are your 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 biggest biggest audiences. Um, people who have watched your video, you're gonna always retarget because these are people who have not landed on the thank you page yet. So meaning they haven't bought your product or they haven't downloaded your seller guide. They have not landed on this page yet. They have only been watching the videos. So what I'm going to always do in my future ads, I'm going to always retarget them. Okay. I'm going to always retarget mm -hmm. them. I'm going to always retarget my, my, my viewers and I'm going to always retarget my landing page visitors. And again, it's the same principle. The same principle applies whether this is an audience of people who only landed on my think on my landing page or whether this is a, an audience of people who are brow browsing my different product lines on my website. It's the same shit. They haven't landed on my thank you page. That's what we did over here. So on the landing page visitors only, we excluded people who landed on the la on the thank you page. We also will exclude yes. people who have landed on the thank you for purchasing page. Mm -hmm. so, so, so these are web page visitors only. They're browsing through your product line. They haven't purchased. They're on your landing page. They haven't opted in to download your seller guide. They're only web page visitors. That's an audience that I'll always retarget in future ads. I will always show them my next ad. Always show them my next ad. Always show them my next ad because they haven't taken the action yet. They're, they're, they're landing on my pages. They're, 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 they're on my landing page, but they haven't gave up their information. So I'm going to always retarget them. Now, this right here, the third one, these are people who have came to the landing page and opted in. They have landed on my thank you page. They downloaded my seller guide, or these are people who have purchased my products. They landed on my thank you for purchasing page, right? So, so whether it's my leads, they landed on my thank you for, for downloading page, or whether it's my customers, they bought my product. That's an audience that I will always exclude from seeing future ads. Future, yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll yeah. always exclude them from seeing future ads. Now, unless I'm running in, in, with your product business, for example, unless we're running a specific ad targeting customers, okay, then cool. I'll target them. But if I'm running the yeah. same ad on the same product, mm -hmm. I don't want to keep mm -hmm. showing it to people who already bought it. Yeah. Or on real yeah, estate. You want to show you want to show them another the next product. Yeah, though, I'll right? show them something different. Okay. Exactly. I'll show them a different a different product. But 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 staying on just real estate alone, you're going to be talking about selling. And, yeah. and, and let's say you run those ads for several months. Let's say you run that those different ads for the next year. It's like you're going to have people that opt in. So so you don't want to keep showing seller guide tips to people yes. who already downloaded your shit. Now they're on your email list. Now talk to them differently via email. Yeah, yeah, because I want to do like some FISBO stuff and I want to do new yeah. build stuff. I want to do investor stuff, wholesale yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like I want, I, it depends. But yeah, but, but yeah, what, with your, what, what, what you're thinking is you have your Facebook ad and then you have the, the communication that's going to be happening via email. So, so, so your Facebook ad is one thing we're talking about people and we're talking about selling and we're, 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 we're enticing people to download our seller guide. That's one message. But after I already download your seller guide, I'm now on this list. I'm now in this audience. I'm now on your email list. Now you can maybe talk to me differently because I'm already in your world. So now email me something that, that, that will entice me to, to, to what, to get me to schedule an appointment. Right. So, yes. So, now, are, so you're saying like, even after I've done the email that has five or six seller tips, if they still haven't opted in, I'm looking for something else. No, to talk no. If to they still about. haven't scheduled an appointment, if they, still I mean, yes, if they still haven't yeah. scheduled a call, 
I'm still, I'm, I'm going to then be looking for something else to talk to them about, right? Via email. That's why I wouldn't just have five emails that are set to go out. I'd have freaking Got 25. it. I'd have 25. Okay, okay. Like, I just want to keep emailing people who have already downloaded my stuff. I'm not showing them any more ads. I'm excluding them. That's, yeah. that, that's that audience. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So, so they're, but not they're getting seeing, the emails. They're not seeing me in their newsfeed anymore. They're now going to, mm -hmm. they're going to now see me in their inbox. Yes. And, and so, yes. And they're going to keep seeing me in their inbox until they schedule an appointment. And when they schedule an appointment, then they'll stop seeing me in their inbox. We'll automate that and 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 now put to them on a different out. list. Opt them out of that. Yeah, okay. And I'll put them on a different list because they've already scheduled an appointment. So okay, okay. So that's so a, that's a whole right other sequence, right? Email sequence, yes. Which we'll go into deeper on Kartra when we go into more Kartra calls. But but this right here is your custom audiences. Now here's one thing. We, one more thing we got to do. Um, now, what we have to do is, is again, if, if, if we got to go back and copy it, we want to copy the thank you page. We want the thank you page. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create a custom conversion. Okay. Now, oh. what's that? I'm like, <laughs> I just freaked out for a second. <laughs> I'm like, you don't, don't, don't mind me, but I think we have that bookmark, don't we? <laughs> yes, go to the bookmarks. We want we want custom conversions. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, right, so it's it's loading. Let's what is going on with this stupid computer? This this laptop is coming right on time because I'm about to throw this thing across. <laughs> If if, oh, if your bookmark man. like if your bookmark doesn't get you there, here's here's how you can do it as well. Those these dots to the left, you always click on the dots and then go to events manager. Events manager is where we'll be. Um, and then all now we're do is all now, now all of the pages are to create custom conversion. Perfect. Click on click on that. Okay. All right, and I don't have that screen yet. Here it's saying create a custom conversion. It's a little white box. Let me let me go back to let me let me see where you're at. Let me let me get rid of uh, uh, is that it? Let okay, so are you right? Yes, here? yes. Go yeah, I click that. Perfect. I okay, so let's click button. that button and you should be right here. Yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, let me explain custom conversions. This right here is the cream of the crop. This right here is is pretty much what we went over so far, we went over bookmarks, right? We went over bookmarks and, 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 and pointing out all the most important buttons that you'll ever click on. Number two, we installed our pixel. We got our pixel in all these pages, and, and it's the same for, for more pages. As you build out your pages more, as you build different businesses, that pixel and all the pages, that's, that, that's what we went over number two. And then today, we're going over custom audiences and taking the links and creating custom audiences around everything, right? <clears throat> now, what we're going to also touch on right now is custom conversions. This is the last part. And then our next call will actually go into targeting and, and running an ad. But <clears throat> this right here is, is, is the gravy. Like this right here is the most important. Here's how Facebook works, okay? <clears throat> what, what most people do, what most people do is those simply, those, they can have, they can have, let me, let me, let me show you. Let me go back from the beginning real quick. And, and as I'm going to show you how to do this, I want to teach you my, my train of thought, and, and, and I want to teach you about it as well. Just I want to educate you on, on why it is what it is. Here's where most okay. people get it wrong. What you, you, can have, you, can have the best, you can have the best ad, right? You can have the best ad, image, video. You could be on that video, and, and you're just popping. You're hitting every point. You're just, you look good. That video is on point two minutes and and, and 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 it's a great video you can have the greatest video you can have the greatest image you can write out the best text on that ad you can have the best targeting so you're targeting your demographics women men whatever you're targeting your city tucson whatever you can have your targeting on point but the moment you come over here and you start a new ad and you click on that green button and you come over here and Facebook wants to know, okay, what is your campaign objective? What are you trying to do? This is step one. If you don't choose the correct objective, none of that other shit matters. Best ad, best video, targeting on point, text written out, professional. Like you don't, none of that stuff will matter if we don't go with the correct objective up front. And this is where everyone gets it wrong. 
So what we're going to be doing, since we are in the business of capturing leads, and even with your other business, since we are in the business of making sales, okay? So any business that, that evolves around making a online sale or capturing an online lead, that objective will be conversions. Always, 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 always. I, yes. And then correct me if I'm wrong. With that first no like and video, no like and, and trust video, that's the only one yes. where yes. you go there. Video but views. All the other ones are conversion. It doesn't yes. matter if it's catalog sales or store traffic, it's always conversion. 99% of the time. Now, when you go into your okay. Shopify and you start to build off that, then you'll start playing around with catalog sales and store traffic. But, okay. but not even store traffic. Store traffic is actually for a brick and motor. So not store traffic. Okay. You can mess around with catalog sales, if anything. Okay. But that's when you go, that's when you start to scale. And that's when you're making a shitload of money with Shopify. But but for right now, it's conversions. Okay. It's conversions. Okay. okay? That's so, great. Okay, good. So before you do that, though, before you do that, what you want to do first is you want to set up a custom conversion. Here is more detail of what a custom conversion really is. As you start to run your Facebook ad, okay, so let's, let, me, let me just pull up Facebook and let's just look at a random ad. As we start to run these ads, and now we're going to go conversions, right? We're going to go conversion. Mm -hmm. That's the objective. But here's the deal. As we scroll through Facebook and we start to look at different random ads, Facebook, they, they, they want to know, know one thing. And here's the deal. So let, let, like here's a video right here. Joel sponsored. There's the text. There's the video. There's the learn more button. Okay. So as I click on learn more. Don't what... ever do a video with a Lambo, please. Like <laughs> yeah. that's so cute. David, if I ever see you on a sponsored ad with <laughs> yeah. a No, not me. I wouldn't, get you. I wouldn't be doing that. No, not not at all. <laughs> Here's the deal. As I clicked on that ad, I came over to this guy's landing page. Okay. And the pixel's up. The pixel is right here tracking the shit out of me he doesn't he doesn't just have one pixel the damn guy has three pixels on my ass so he really knows what the hell he's doing he does he does i'm gonna give him that he knows what the hell he's doing like he got he got he got one <gasps> two three he has four pixels tracking me so this guy's up on his game wow. and that's cool but here's the deal here's the deal what this guy is doing is he's running ads he's running ads for appointments and how do i know mm -hmm. that because as I click on click on learn more and I come straight to his page, what he wants me to do is schedule an appointment. Yeah. yeah. That's the first that's all he's asking for is, is an appointment. So again, whether you're trying to make an online sell, whether you're looking to capture a lead, or in this case, you're looking to get people to schedule an appointment. Scheduling an appointment is capturing a lead. It's the same shit. But here's the custom conversion. Here's the custom conversion. And I'll use the seller, the seller guide page as an example. We got two mm -hmm. pages. We got two pages. We got the landing page and we got the thank you page. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's custom conversions. As you run that Facebook ad and you click on learn more and you go to my landing page, that's goal number one. That's my goal. My goal is to run an ad, get you to click learn more and come to my landing page. But my ultimate goal, my ultimate goal is to get you to click the button, enter your information and get to my thank you page. That's mm -hmm. my ultimate goal. My ultimate goal is to get your ass to land on this specific page right here. That's what we want to tell Facebook. We want to tell Facebook what our ultimate goal is. My goal is, yeah, my goal is to get people here. But my ultimate goal is to get people here. Facebook needs to know that. They need to know here. They need to know where here is. So what we're going to mm. do is we're going to get the URL for the thank you page. And again, it's the same strategy for Shopify. On Shopify, when I go to your page and I buy, I enter my credit card information, I click buy now, I go to the thank you for purchasing page. It's the same shit. So that thank you for purchasing page, that's the link up here. That's our custom conversion. In this case, it's the thank you for downloading page. This link is our custom conversion. So what we want to tell Facebook is we want to say Facebook. Our goal is to get them to the landing page, but our ultimate goal is to get us to get them to the thank you page. And I'm only going to pay you yes. Facebook if you if you can get me people here. And so Facebook wants to know what where here is. We're going to copy the link to the thank you page. We're going to bring it over here to Facebook and we're going to create 
that conversion. So we're going to name the conversion seller guide leads. Same as we named the custom audience. Seller guide leads was the audience. Seller guide leads can even be the conversion. So what okay. we're going to do is we should see our, our, our green dot right there. Make sure that we're in the right account, right? I and, do. And yes, I am. Okay, perfect. And then we're going to come down here and select your own category. So Facebook is going to allow us to categorize this under these different section under these different um, categories. So we can go add payment info, which will be another custom conversion, add to cart, another custom conversion. Um, um, you got lead and you got purchase. So right now we're going to do lead. But if it was a purchase, again, I go to your Shopify store, I buy your shit, I land on the thank you for purchasing page. That would be the link up here. And I would categorize that under purchase. But in this case, it's lead. So I'm going to go lead. And all I'm going to do is paste in that URL. And I'm going to okay. hit create. So now here's what we got to do next. You got to always remember this part. And I'm recording it for you. So, so I'll get this recording to you tonight. But here's what's super important. When you create a custom conversion, and, uh, and we'll go into deeper about this on our next call because there's a few more custom conversions for Shopify that you're going to want to create. In this case, it's really just this one. Um, the leads the, around people who land on the thank you for downloading page. Okay. But here's what we want to do now. You should, your should say inactive just like that. It does. Okay. Here's what we're going to do now. We want to open up a new tab and simply paste in that thank you page link and open it up. That way Facebook can read it again. We want Facebook to read it again. And we want it to open up just like that. Okay, it did. Okay, so now look. Because I created this page around a custom conversion, as I click on my Pixel Helper now, look what it reads now. So now it reads that my Pixel is installed correctly, but it, I also have this little star down here, Seller Guide Leads. That's how I know I yes. saw my custom conversion correctly. So now that Facebook is reading the page, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come back to Facebook, come back to the custom conversion page. It says inactive. Now go ahead and refresh it. Oh. Go ahead and refresh it. And that should light up green and it should say active. All right, let's see. Oh my God. I don't, what would I do without you? This is I don't crazy. Know. I don't know what I do without you either. <laughs> That's a custom conversion. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. Um, we're going to go about this on our next call. We're going to go on this. <laughs> we're going to, we're going to cover this on our next call, but now what we can do is I'm going to go with conversions. I'm going to hit continue. Okay. Wait, where did I go? Am I going back to the other? No, page? no, 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 no. Just watch what I'm doing. Just Am watch what I'm doing. Oh, okay. This, okay. This, we'll, we'll cover this on our next call. But, but right now, so now I went with conversions, okay? I went with conversions, and I won't even worry about that right now. I'm going to just hit next, and it's in the ad set. It's in the second section where I'm going to tell Facebook about that link, and it's right down here. So I'm going to make sure that mm. my pixel is right there. There's my right pixel, and then what Facebook wants me to do is they want me to choose an event. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to come down, look for my green dot. That's the link I want people to get to. Now, as I come okay. over here to the third section, I'm going to include the link to the landing page. So as they click on learn more, they're going to click on learn more and go to the landing page, which is right here, um, the website URL. Actually, it's right here. So the learn more. So as they click on learn more, they'll go to the landing page. But over here, I'm telling Facebook, the real page I'm trying to get them to. The real page I'm trying to get them to Facebook is this seller guide lead page. That's the that's the, the the thank you page that we just set up. That's our custom conversion. That's our conversion event. So we're telling Facebook, I'm willing to pay you if you can get me people to my thank you page. Okay. And the only people that will ever land on that thank you page are people who enter their name and email. Uh -huh. that's yeah, that's leads. the money. That's the money. That's the money page. <sighs> and so that strategy applies for capturing leads. 
That strategy applies for scheduling appointments. That strategy applies for making online sales through Shopify. You want to create a custom conversion around the thank you page or the thank you for purchasing page. Facebook needs to know that link. Okay. That's conversions. So we, we set up custom audiences today. We set up custom conversions. And then on our next call, we will actually go into a live ad and start messing around with the targeting. And I'm going to, I'm going to show you how to set up multiple targeting and that. And this, that strategy is going to apply for your Shopify store, because as you start to target yeah. different demographics, I'm going to show you how to separate everything and, and create multiple targeting to really see where your ROI is coming from. Because you may target women in between the ages of, of, of 25 to 35, and then, and, then, and then another targeting, you're going to target women 35 to 45. And then a third targeting, these are separate targeting. A third targeting, you're going to target women 50 plus. These are three different targets. Mm -hmm. So as we run an ad, we run one ad to three different independent, individual, separated, targeted audiences. That's our next call. Because as I run that one ad to three different audiences, in a few days, Facebook's going to let me know which one's the winner. Maybe, yes. the women, maybe the women from, from 25 to 35 is not the winner. Maybe the, the winner is, is 40, 45 plus. Then I take my money and I pour it all into that one target. Yeah. I it's canceled. almost like doing A-B testing, huh? It, 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 it's it's A-B testing on steroids. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So we'll go over that. That's our ad set call. That's our fourth call. Um, we'll go into that next. So schedule that next one and, and let's get this thing popping. I will. Thank you so much. This yes, is Michelle, awesome. you're so, so welcome. Message me if you need anything and I'll get this recording over to you tonight. All right. That sounds okay. good. We'll talk next week. Awesome, Michelle. God bless you. Have a great weekend. You too. Bye. Bye-bye.